Hi guys. It's been a while since I've done anything with Lydia here. And I know I've talked about getting a new mannequin at some point. And I haven't done that yet, but when I first started my channel, one of the things that I often did was work on Lydia here. And uh, I was kind of missing it. So tonight is a really stormy night. We have actually some severe weather. But now we have just beautiful, gentle thunderstorms. So heavy rain, thunder, if you can hear it. A little bit of lightning. And the wind has subsided. So. We're gonna take a bit of time. Just enjoy the thunderstorm outside. And we'll give Lydia some attention here. Some of you who have been with the channel for a little while may remember Lydia used to have really long hair and I decided a few months ago that she was due for a change and I also hadn't done a haircut, a good one, for a long time, so lucky Lydia got to have her hair chopped off. styled right now so it looks a little bit crazy but I do think when it's styled properly it's really cute. Right now she's kind of been through some test phases. I've been trying out some different hairstyles so she has gotten to be my test subject. When I cut her hair, I took off, I want to say, we took off probably a good eight inches, six to eight inches somewhere. And the last time I got heavy handed with my shears and I decided somebody needed a haircut, it was me. And my daughter, who's four and a half now, but at the time was only a few months old and we were early in COVID so it would have been July 2020 I think I decided one night that I needed a haircut and I took a razor to my hair a salon razor, a professional one not just one from the kitchen and I razored off 12 inches of my hair so my hair was to right here. I'd cut it to my jawline. It was really, really short. And as you can see now, it's come back. But I haven't cut it since. Because while I love short hair, I don't know that it's the best look for me. We're gonna do a classic scalp inspection. I love getting these done, and I love listening to these when other people do them, so.
I hope you don't mind that for one, this is a deviation from what I've been putting out recently, but is very similar to what I started putting out when I first started my channel a couple of years ago. So I hope you don't mind that it's different, especially if you're new here and you never saw any of my original content. But secondly, I hope that it's okay that this is a little bit darker. My intention not really for you to see what's going on here because I have found that the sound is always much more satisfying than the actual inspection because when you're just doing something on a mannequin if you're a person who enjoys seeing scalp inspections or Extractions from dermatologists or other professionals, estheticians, you don't get that satisfaction of actually discovering anything. So when it comes to ASMR, this one I feel is not so much visual and it is much more reliant on the sound. I was just thinking about how somebody pointed out to me once that the mannequin always seems a little bit high up for me whereas a lot of people, the mannequin's a little bit lower than them typically and they can see a little bit better on top and that is because while I have Lydia here at maximum height so that you all can see her a little bit better You may have realized this on your own, but when I'm not wearing shoes, which is mostly only at home, I'm not even five foot three. I'm just a little bit under, actually. But I tell everyone I'm five foot three because in shoes I am, and I'm always wearing shoes when most people see me. So, but if you are curious, why? She was so high up compared to me. That's the mystery, that's the answer. Switch her just a little bit so you can see this other side.
under there. I actually thought tonight would be another really great night to do something by the fire because of the thunderstorm going on outside. But it's been really hot here. As much as that evening that I filmed that by the fire was chilly, it's been really hot <laughs> the last few days and really, really windy. So I didn't think I could stand it by the fireplace even for a little bit until it cools off in the next couple of days again, but... Like, can you imagine a fire with a thunderstorm? Take me there. this back section. We're going to bring it just a little bit closer. It's still the same idea because you're not going to be able to see as much of what's going on here. Her hair is dark. The setting's a little bit dark. So we're focusing on the sounds. But now that we're deeper into the bulk of the hair, I thought moving a little bit closer to the microphone would really enhance it, so. And it's a big lightning. And the center of her hair here. Thankfully, neither of my kids, especially the youngest one, he's only one, but neither of them are scared of thunderstorms, which is saying something because we get some pretty violent thunderstorms in the Midwest, but my dog, one of them, is terrified of storms, so <laughs> there's a good chance that you might hear him trying to break into the room with me here because he's a mama's boy and anytime there's even a strong gust of wind so these last couple days especially he's going to be shaking and shivering and trying to get to wherever I am whether I'm <laughs> available for him or not We got him when he was a puppy, and he's always kind of been an anxious boy, so. And he just, he's, he's pretty attached to both of my husband and I, but he definitely has attached to me differently after I had my kids.
lighting's a little bit funky, I'm sorry. I would be kind of curious if anybody's made it this far in the video and is still awake. If you could tell me a little bit of feedback. So, this video is obviously different than some of the others. Closer to what I first started when I was first posting. Where I'm talking to you as Kate. As me. Not as a character or not pretending to do a role play or be a mom, be a best friend, be a sister, anything like that. And I I know a lot of you probably already know, but I just do this because I really enjoy it. I really love it. I love watching ASMR. I love making ASMR. But I also know there's some really fantastic ASMR artists out there and they spend a lot of time and energy into learning how to do different audio engineering skills and they do a lot with their set designs and they have a set whereas I kind of move around in different spots in my house to break up the background but my question, what I would like to know is does that bother you that I have not perfected the sound or the camera or staying in one spot? <laughs> because it's okay if you say that bothers you. I would like to get better at it, but I also want us to always feel like this is authentic, because to me, this is. I want us to just feel like we're hanging out, we're just relaxing. Kind of like that sensation you would get if you were spending time with a friend and they were doing their hair, their makeup, and you're just sitting in the bathroom talking to them. That comfortability. That trust. And it makes you feel safe and relaxed. That is what my goal is to capture on this channel in every video that I make. So even once I do eventually get better at sound and at some point I'll probably get a camera that's more stable but this is a step up from what I was doing in the beginning with my phone. I don't ever want to lose that feeling, whether I'm doing something like this, where I'm just being myself, just talking to you, or if I'm doing a role play, or on the occasion when I go do the professional treatments, which I do know that the lighting, I need to figure out a solution for that when I go to places because you can't always count on the lighting to be fantastic when you go somewhere else. My shutters so hard that they fell down. Still, this is like the perfect kind of storm to film during. There's no hail with it, there's no wind. I don't look at my analytics very often, but I did look one time and it gave me a snapshot of where most of you all are from. And I do have a decent sized audience here in the United States, but surprisingly, the majority of my audience is international to me. So, for those of you who are international, hi. Hi to everyone in the United States as well, but 
For those of you that are international, you're probably not as familiar with Midwestern weather. We're smack dab in the middle of the United States. And so we get airstreams coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, where I was originally from in Southwest Kansas. We would get things coming down from the Rockies as well. And that's why we had so much tornadic activity. So I grew up seeing a lot of tornadoes. And some days we would have wind in Southwest Kansas, where I'm from originally, where it would just gust up to 55 miles per hour. And that was pretty standard in certain seasons. So spring, fall, those times. And it's not as bad where I'm at now, but we still get really aggressive wind and hail and I don't know. Well, I'm surprised how many places don't get it nearly as frequently as we do in this part of the world. So when I was in Ireland, I was shocked. I had no idea that Ireland got hurricanes until we were there during a hurricane. And people were just casually walking around because it wasn't a bad hurricane. It was just really windy. <laughs> and it was really windy. So, but it's a testament to the architecture there because they have such aged buildings that have withstood the test of time. And unfortunately, they're just not designed that way in my part of the world, as much as I wish they were. So, Europeans, anybody who's not European but is from somewhere that has amazing old architecture, I love that. I love that for you. I wish we had more of that in our region, but... Alright. I think that I've got her... Just about where I want her. relaxing for those of you that are new and haven't seen this kind of video from me before. I really hope that it was something that you enjoyed and maybe you feel like you got to know me just a little bit better. I really enjoy getting to know all of you in the comments. For those of you who reach out on Instagram, I don't do a lot on Instagram, but I'm there. Sometimes I upload, sometimes I don't, but I'm there and if you message me, I will respond. So. I hope you all enjoy.